Hey, it's Jeremy from Tested, and it's that time of year again. I get to share with you my favorite things of 2018. I have four things for you. The first one is the Prusa i3 MK3. It's the 3D printer that they released this year. When I finished the build of the MK2S last fall, the day I finished, they announced this new one. So they gave poor sods like me a coupon code. We were able to upgrade. I ordered this, it arrived several months later, because and there's still a wait list for these things. Um, but it is a 3D printer that changes the landscape as far as I'm concerned. It has all kinds of features that make the process so much easier compared to, you know, even two years ago or, or last year. Uh, it has trinamic drivers in there which are almost silent. Like you can be printing this thing on the, uh, you know, the ninja silent mode and you can't even hear it. It's crazy. It also has collision detection so that if the print head bumps into something, it will resume, it will move back and, and calibrate itself and find the, the print area again and start over um, where it left off. It also has power loss detection so that if it loses power for you know hours at a time, it can then resume power and resume printing right where it left off. But the best feature of all is the print bed. Uh, normally, like back in the day, if you finished a print, the print that was thankfully stuck to the print bed. You didn't want that thing moving around. So you had to take a chisel and hammer and you had to chip away at it like you're carving ice or chipping away at a rock and eventually it would come off. Of course, you're gonna damage your print bed doing that after X number of times. So what they did was they developed this removable sheet that is your, your print surface. So this comes off, it's magnetically adhered to the surface. If your print is on there, you just flex it and it pops right off. No damage to this, no hammering, no chiseling. It's fantastic. This comes in two different flavors. There's a smooth PEI sheet and this one, which is powder coated with PEI built into the powder coat. Um, if you get this one, it doesn't have like a glass surface, it's sort of textured, but it just, the prints come right off as soon as they're cooled, and it's fantastic. Um, so I print for fun a lot, I print for projects a lot. Uh, you can print cool things like this, that just print in one, you know, one pass. Um, I was losing my eyeglasses all the time, so I printed this nice little stand from my desk. Uh, and of course it comes in really handy for all kinds of projects. If you're thinking about diving into 3D printing, now's a good time and I recommend the MK3. So, moving on, number two. I went to Replay FX this year, which is a arcade event in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I stumbled upon a vendor there. They're called Artovision, and they make these pieces, which I fell in love with. Uh, they, they mainly make them for arcade games. And what they've done is they take a screenshot from your favorite arcade game or console game, then they go into Photoshop and they painstakingly break out four different layers, and then they silk screen each of those layers onto these four acrylic clear sheets. They put them in a frame, which is like basically a shadow box, and it gives it a 3D effect. And when you walk past it, it's uh, like parallaxing effect. And it, it's super cool. And the guys who do this, it's really just like a father-son team. They spend so much time on each one, and they really care about their product, and I had a great time talking to them. Um, the King's Quest one was up on the shelf, and normally, like I said, they don't do too many old classic PC games, but this is like one of the titles that I grew up with. I came back the next day, I said, it'd be awesome if you did this Space Quest scene. And so they did this one for me, they do custom work. If you send them the screenshot, they'll break it apart and do this kind of thing. I love these things, and they're on my wall at home. Um, I tried lighting them up, and I couldn't find a good solution, but they work great just as is. Number three. This one's I'm gonna make quick because it's not for everybody. It is, <laughs> this is kind of nerdy, but this is a, a test clip for surface mount chips. Now bear with me. If you have a surface mount chip you're hacking on, maybe it's got like a ton of like 16 pins on it. What are you gonna do, solder wires to it? Try to see what the signals are, apply your own signals? Pain in the butt, right? You don't wanna go through that, especially if you're just hacking away, you might not even do any good. Well, look what they make. I had no idea. They make these clips. You just take it, you clip it onto your IC, Bam, <laughs> stick with me, bam, oh my God, bam. And then you're just on there, you plug this into the little breakout board on your breadboard and you're done. You just, now you got hookup wires, you hook it up to whatever pins on your microcontroller that you want and you're there hacking away. You can read all these things, it reads every signal just fine. I had no idea they made these. I was hacking away at an RC tank and this changed my world. Thank you to Zach Ratting for letting me know they exist. Finally, fourth item, last, in some ways least, I'm gonna be honest with you, the Oculus Go. The Oculus Go, as you know, at many of you anyway, I love VR, I love VR. I've been following this thing for years, 
And this is an important headset, and, and I do love this headset for what it is. If you don't follow VR, be careful, okay? This is not the be all end all of the VR experience. This is a $200, take it on the go, three degree of freedom headset. And that's important. Let me quickly explain what that means. It means you can look in every direction, but you cannot walk in every direction. You can't lean in any direction. This is a looking in every direction uh, device. This is a pointing in every direction device. It is not a moving around the room kind of thing. That is next year, okay? They're bringing six degrees of freedom to us next year in a portable headset. But for right now, you get this for $200, which is a steal. It has several good games. It has many great media apps. And for what it is, it, you take it on the go with you. You go to a hotel room, maybe you're with your family, maybe you're, you're with a group of people, and you just want some privacy, like you just want to be alone for a minute, you put the VR headset on, it's great. Like you sit on the couch, people can be walking around you, you don't know it, you're watching a movie in a movie theater somewhere, maybe you're playing mini golf with your friend, um, and that's what this is. Plus, I mean, symbolically, this is really the first step for consumer VR. This is the first real friendly device. It's always in VR. You put it on, it's just in VR. There's no like setting up your computer, launching an app. It's just on. And next year, we're going to evolve that. And beyond that, it's going to be a great, exciting thing. And this is the very first step in that direction. And it excites me for that reason, too. Those are my favorite things. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see you again next year. Uh, from all of us at Tested, Happy New Year.